My exam is tomorrow. How should I study on the last day? What should I revise? What time should I sleep? Oh, my friend sent me some important questions on WhatsApp. I have so many things going on in my mind. What should I do? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to answer all your questions and share some simple and practical tips to help you study on the last day. I also have a video on how to prepare for exams, which you might find useful. I'll put a link to that. I'm sure if you apply the tips in these videos, you'll score much better in your exam. If you find these tips useful, do hit the like button and share the video with your friends. All right, go ahead and ask me your questions. First question, what should I use for my revision? I have my school textbook, reference books, notes, question banks, and so many test papers here. Which one should I use? Great question. If tomorrow is your board exam or your school exam, then on the last day, you should only be revising from your school textbook. Let's say you're in CBSE board, then just revise from the NCRT textbook on the last day. No other textbooks. Since 80 to 90% of the questions are based on the main textbook. So just use that for your revision. If you have made detailed notes, then you can use that, but nothing else. Don't borrow your friend's notes on the last day. I have so many chapters in my syllabus. Should I revise all the chapters on the last day? Yes, you should revise all chapters. Remember, the test paper is designed to cover the entire syllabus, not just a few chapters. So spread out your revision. Try to cover all the topics on the last day. Chapters that you find easy, you can revise those quickly. That will give you more time for the chapters that are harder. But be sure to revise all the chapters. How should I study a chapter? Just read it or do the questions at the end. Don't read the whole chapter on the last day. Be efficient. Just scan the chapter and spend time on the important things like learning definitions, revising the formulas. Look at the things that you've marked in the book for revision. The best way to learn formulas and chemical equations is to write them down. Because when you write things, you will remember them better. At least you won't forget it the next day. Now, while doing your revision, you may feel that there are some really important things that you would like to revise once more. Like doing a second revision before sleeping or next morning before going to the exam. So here's a pro tip for you. While doing your revision, tick mark the things that you want to revise again and note down the page numbers on the first page of your book. So in your final revision, you can quickly find the pages and do your second revision super fast. Should I practice questions and sums on the last day? If your textbook has solved examples, it's best to revise the solved examples first. For the solved examples, you can think of the answer and quickly check the solution. After that, take a look at the chapter questions. Again, don't solve each question. Just think of the answer in your mind. Also, practice a few sums, just one or two sums to revise the formulas. Of course, if it's a maths exam, then you'll be practicing a lot of sums. For maths, try to cover different types of questions. Remember, don't strain yourself by solving too many questions on the last day. My friend sent me some important and tough questions on WhatsApp. They may come in the exam tomorrow. I also have a lot of test papers. Should I solve them? No. Ignore all the questions that your friends are sending you on WhatsApp. If you're getting distracted, give the phone to your parents. And don't sit with new test papers on the last day. You'll end up getting nervous and wasting time. Just keep them away or give it to your parents. I'm sure you know the format of your exam paper. For example, how many questions are there? What type of questions are asked? Multiple choice, short or long answer questions. If you're not sure of this, then definitely pick up last year's paper and familiarize yourself with the format. But don't sit down and solve the paper. What time should I sleep? Should I sleep early? and wake up early next morning 
for one more revision? Definitely try to sleep in time. You don't want to write your exam with a sleepy brain. Try to sleep by 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. latest. Don't listen to friends who say, I study till 3 a.m. or I didn't sleep at all. It's better to study less than go to the exam with a sleepy brain. If you're in the habit of sleeping early and getting up early to revise, you can do that. Don't change your routine on the last day. I'm feeling tensed and nervous before my exam. How should I relax myself? Here my school principal's advice really helped. Before our board exam, he said, it's okay to feel tensed and nervous. This means you care about the exam and your result. Being carefree or overconfident is also not good. Everybody feels tensed and nervous, so it's okay. Imagine what a football player feels when he has to play the finals the next day, or a new actor feels when he has to shoot his first scene the next day. All of us feel tensed. You are not alone. So just be okay with that feeling on the last day. Ignore it. Focus your attention on your revision and imagine how relaxed you will feel once the exam is over. I hope these tips for the last day before your exam were helpful for you. So here's a reminder of the seven tips we covered. Tip number one, revise only from your textbook. Number two, cover all chapters. Tip number three, revise only the important things and mark for your final revision. Number four, read solved examples and practice a few questions. Tip number five, ignore WhatsApp questions and new test papers. Number six, sleep early. And tip number seven, it's okay to be tensed. So let me know which tip out of these seven you found most helpful. Do write it in the comments below. And feel free to add more tips that you want to share in the comments below. So wishing you all the best for your exams. Go give it your best shot. And do remember to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, hit the subscribe button right now. And do click the notification bell to get notified about new videos. You can check my Facebook page and do check out my website, manochaacademy.com for courses and videos that will help you with your exam preparation. I'll put the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.